Welcome back. You didn't have to live in the 60s to know the impact Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made. Today is a day to honor his life and next month the spotlight on his work will be even brighter with Black History Month. And one of the theatrical works that you can see in February is called American Menu. It's presented by the New Horizon Theater and puts a lens on the civil rights movement and segregation. And we're going to see a scene from that play in just a minute. But first, for more on the production, we are joined right now by Dr. Joyce Megerson Moore. New Horizon Theater always has powerful works. Thank you so Thank much for joining you. us, We've Doctor. We've been doing it for 31 years. Oh my God! I can't believe that. And I'm really proud of our all volunteer operations group. So I have to mention them too, because they're sitting and watching. So oh, I good. Have, yeah, to you have to them. mention them. Shout out. All yeah. right. So tell us a little bit about American Menu, the play, and what's it all about? Okay. It was written in 1968. Well, it's about around 1968. I don't, I'm not sure when he wrote it, but it's one month after the, the uh, death of Dr. Martin Luther King and one month before the death of uh, Robert Kennedy. And so it's about these five restaurant workers in, um, the Texas in rural Texas okay. and actually it's about things that are happening outside and things that are, that are happening in their lives too. It's funny. It's uh, also it's sad. it can be sad too. So bring your tissue too, but okay. bring your laughter on because you'll see a combination of that with these three, five women in the restaurant. We brought three here with us today to give you a little bit of uh, nudge right. so that you could come. And yeah. in fact, tell us about what we're going to see today. The scene we're going to see today, like, okay. set it up it for moved, us. A it bit. moves so fast. I don't know if you can set it up. They were talking okay. about it out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's these three restaurant workers, and I mean, they are all over the place, and the play just moves real fast. So it's some of the things that they talk about during the day to day operations at the uh, restaurant. And, um, so I'm not sure it'll need any setup once you see it. Okay. With, uh, we have Carla Payne, who's, who uh, portrays um, one of the characters, uh, Johnny May. And mm -hmm. we have Nay by Angelique Struthers. And we have Mary by Tajiani. Uh, Clinton. I can't wait to see so, that. Anytime you get yeah, a group so, of women together <laughs> in a I'll space you, like I mean, that, it, if it, you could it be it a fly on fast. the wall. It moves yeah. fast. All right, so well, once you're in the theater, you'll, you'll get to see it at the Carnegie um, Auditorium. Okay. okay. All right, well, let's uh, move right now to uh, take a look at this uh, because we are ready for the scene right now. Yeah. Mac asked if I wanted to work over there for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told him he was out of his mind. <laughs> hmm. You know, working on dead people can bring in some good money. What? Now, Mary, I know you ain't worried about the money because you ain't trying to touch no dead person. Mm -mm. I watch a dead person's behind if the money's right. <laughs> Oh, Matt got Emma Dale working for him. Mm -mm. She puts on their makeup and comb their hair. Now, Emma Dale, she a little soft in the head, ain't she? <laughs> she ain't right. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Emma Dale, the one that was pregnant, mm -hmm. didn't know she was pregnant till she had the baby. <laughs> yeah, that's her. The crazy sense of child. <laughs> no, Emma Dale got <laughs> sense. Emma Dale got damn good sense to make her some money. She making a lot more than any of us sitting down talking to the dead. Girl, please. Now, Mary, the very next time you see Mac, tell him I'll come down and work for him. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, I ain't scared of the dead. <laughs> it's the living I got to keep an eye on. I hear you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, yeah. that was good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, yeah. I wanted to I see want more. more. I, got <laughs> like, I was like, wait, are they done already? Yeah. Hey. So that's just, uh, that's a great tease because yeah, yeah, it makes yeah, you want to yeah. go see the production. Yeah, I forgot we were on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and once they start talking about the food, and they actually have food there in the restaurant, of course. And, okay, uh, yeah. You really want to be a part of it, right, too, exactly. because they're yeah. talking about this mashed potatoes and fried chicken and different things that they're cooking. Brings you in even more. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, and I would say, how would people relate to this story today? Well, uh, it's, again, it, it took place in the 1960s, and some of the things that's happening on the outside of the theater, people are going to relate to. I won't get into that, but those are some of the things that they have to deal with that's mm -hmm. actually going on in the community. And so people are going to relate to that because that's some of the sad parts about yeah. this production. Very relevant. Oh, uh -huh. All right. It's going to be relevant. Go Thank you, it. Doctor. Thank okay. you for joining Thank us. You. We appreciate okay. it. Well, American right. Menu opens February 3rd. It runs through the 19th. The new 
Blue Horizon Theater production is at the Carnegie Library's Auditorium. Yeah, we have the link for tickets on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.